my name is Joanne and this is my channel the Yorkshire Sew Girl. Well it is that time of the month again people. It is so Hayley Jane subscription box time. So I thought I'd quickly pop on. I saw this again being delivered via my ring doorbell. <laughs> and I was shouting at the postman. Please put it behind my bins. Please put it behind my bins. He must have been like all right, love. I'm not sure what's being delivered here, but she's very excited about it. So I've got home. I picked the kids up from school. There will be some shouting because my eldest is gaming in the room just over there. I've asked him to keep it quiet, but I think it's physically impossible. In fact, I think when I tell him to keep it quiet, they're actually louder. But anyway, I thought I'd quickly open this. Tusband is due home from work any minute as well, so he'll probably come in and... I don't know, I'll be gobbing off and stuff in the background. So let's get this rustling done, shall we? I'm excited to see what's in this one. It's quite a light box this this month. Now, Tamlin from Sewing on the Tine has said that it's her favourite box ever. And I really wanted to watch her vlog because she's already put hers up, but I couldn't watch it because I hadn't opened my box. So now I can open this and then I can go see her vlog because I like watching all the vlogs as well. I know it's weird. I know, because I get the box myself, but anywho. Shall we have a look what's inside? Let's have a look. This came really fast, because I'm sure they were only posted out. Was it yesterday or the day before? Anyway, lovely yellow tissue paper. Oh, you can see the book cut through that. Looks interesting. That reminds me of... I'm off on a tangent already. The Hungry Caterpillar. Remember that book, you know, where it used to be like... He used to have holes through it though because he used to eat an apple then he used to eat a pear and then by the time he finished there's just holes everywhere <gasps> i love it tamlin said she thought i was gonna love it and i love it oh my goodness right i'm sorry people i'm really sorry right let's not look at that don't look at that ruan tamlin said it was possibly her favorite box in the whole wide world and i think i might have to agree <laughs> from what i've seen anyway so this is what I meant about the Hungry Cat Pillar book. Is it just me? Let me know, please, in the comment section down below if I'm just crazy. This is number 65 and it's called Paint by Numbers. How lovely. So I always like to have a look to see if I know who the person is that has won the £15 fold line uh, prize. But no, I don't think I have. So for anybody who doesn't know, this box is the classic box that I get. So there's three different boxes. There's a mini box a classic box and a luxury box and they all go up in different prices now i am very kindly gifted this from the beautiful so Haley jane herself um but yeah if you get the luxury one you get a designer type more expensive type fabric and you also get a pattern in there as well in this one you get a haberdashery item the booklet obviously with all the information in you get a, normally a little gift or a sweet treat you get um a, another piece of fabric which is like a, another, um, instead of like fat quarters, which is what you used to get in there. And that could be up to a metre of fabric. You get your fabric, you get a Gutterman thread that kind of matches it. There's loads of stuff in it. This is my favourite box, although I have been gifted a couple of luxury ones that have literally blown it out of the park. So maybe it's not my favourite box. I don't know. I don't know. It's too hard to know. But I will link everything in the description box below if you've ever thought about kind of exploring it and you might want to treat yourself to something. Um, you can go and have a look at all three different boxes there as well. But if you put a picture of this on your Instagram um, of your box, not the inside of it, don't do that because we don't want to upset people um, that haven't received theirs yet. You can put the hashtag SHJ Unboxing Ritual and then Hayley picks one a month and you get told in the next month's subscription box if you've won a £15 the fold line voucher. And I did win once i think it's because i put a picture of that and a big mac and i was kind of like does life get any better <laughs> i think she must have chosen it because of that anywho i don't think i do know after all that the person who's won the prize <laughs> might go have a look on instagram see if i do right so we then have like loads of different articles that sort of thing we have Haley kind of talking through the theme of this month this is a company called stitchfinity um which is quite interesting um and look at those they're like little earrings and this they're cross stitch and i love cross stitch as you know if you watch my channel at all um so i'm going to really enjoy having a look at that because i don't think i know about stitchfinity so i'm going to go and have a look at their website uh then we've got a big bit of an article here on so yellow for endo which is amazing that is run by the lovely jess from um so what if i sew 
So there's a bit of an article there about all of that, which is great to see. Look at all the pictures. There was an event actually when we were at the Stitch um, Festival and I'm gutted that we couldn't go. We'd already got prior arrangements, so we couldn't go, which was a bit of a shame because I think we would have definitely liked to have done that. So we kind of had a bit of FOMO and we would have liked to have supported Jess as well. But yeah, we couldn't, we couldn't make it. Then Tamlin has done an article here, which is what a cameon. <laughs> that's cute and this is all about um different patterns that you can make um for a camisole which is really nice um what else we've got we've got a make of the month oh my gosh that is absolutely beautiful i think that might have been from a luxury box was it uh it's nice it's called mountain grandeur cotton lawn and this lady is called at an loving clothe over 60 oh i'm gonna have a good look at that she is 64 and rocking it because she looks amazing. Have a good look through that. Then there's three fabrics, three makes. I'm not going to look just in case. I mean, I've seen my fabric, so I don't know why I'm doing that. But anyway, we'll come, we'll come back to that, shall we? Then we've got something else. Oh, this is Tamlin again doing an article and it's all about challenges. Just going to let you know I'm involved in all three of these. <laughs> so, so frugal, all about stash busting which obviously is now finished, but I help run that. And also So April Blouse 24, which is a challenge that's going on right now, people, if you want to get involved. And I co-host that with Gabrielle from Cloth Edit. And then there is also the So um, Confident CCC um, course. So there was like a bit of a challenge, three-day challenge that went on online. And then you can sign up to the course if you want to. And I have signed up to the patent only course because... I really want to be involved in the course to get to know a bit more about it. And also I've got a lot of stash, so I'm just going to have the patterns from it. Then I can use my own stash fabrics and still get involved in all the tutorials and the lives and things like that. So I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, we've got Haley's Little Links. I love that photo. So that is from Haley's YouTube video where she went to the Stitch Fe Festival and she was chatting to Lauren um, from the Sewing Bee. And... Um, yeah, they were having a bit of a laugh. I enjoyed that vlog. It was really good. We've got a maker's gallery here. I love this bit. It's one of my favourites. So we've got the gorgeous Emma. She was very clever and she used her chiffon on the sleeves that we'd got. So that was our supplementary um, fabric that we got a couple of months ago. We've also got... So she's E. Red, Redshaw, Redshaw. And then we've got... Oh, I've not... Sweet Sisters Stitchers has used some of the um, fleecy fabric, which was supplementary as well. I've got that in my stash just there. Can you see it? Ready to make something with. Then we've got Linda, who has made um, an experimental space lily top out of her chiffon. How clever. We have Julie, who has made um, a flip clutch wallet by Spencer Ogg using the um, cotton that we got a while ago, which was absolutely beautiful. And then down here, we've got So Pretty Full, who has made out, um, let's have a look, a Tilly and the Buttons Lyra dress. Obvs, can't be a Lyra dress, that looks lovely. So they're the Makers Gallery this month. And then we've got, ah, oh, the profile this month is Kelly. Now, Kelly is part of um, Sisters of Sitchcraft. Um, but on Instagram, she's a underscore right underscore so-and-so. So I met Kelly at the Stitch Festival. That was really, really lovely to see her as well. Um, and she's taller than me, so it's even better. <laughs> then we've got pattern picks from the fold line to go with the fabric that comes in the box. And then we've got what's in the box and what do I fancy making with it. Anyway, that was a bit one it? Shall we get on with it? Do you want to see what my sweet treat is? Oh, I would eat this right now if it wasn't going to get stuck in my teeth and I'd annoy you guys. But that is getting eaten the minute I turn this off, by the way. Ready for editing. I love a refresher bar almost as much as I love a wham bar. Do you remember wham bars? Anywho. Right. Then we've got something from that Stitchfinity Club. Look at this. Oh, it's a little cross-stitch kit of a bee. Oh, I wonder if there's different ones in the boxes. There's a few on the back here, so I wonder if it's different for different people. It says perfect for everyone, including beginners. And that is the actual size of it as well. So it's like a little miniature one. 
it's beautiful so you get everything in the kit you get your ada your dmc floss needle pattern instructions only thing you need is a pair of scissors oh i'm looking forward to doing that because i absolutely love cross stitch and that's a nice little one as well that'd be quite nice to do and then put in a card um, michelle from sewing bunny does that quite a lot and i've not actually done that yet so i might give that one a go then we've got some beautiful buttons these are lovely can you see those i like those a lot there's five of them let me i know i know i know, I know. let's see if i can hold them up for you they're lovely so they've got like a ridge going around them and then they're like marbled almost or mottled oh i like them they're gonna go in my second button box yes i've had to buy another one because i've got a bit of an obsession with buttons at the moment they're beautiful right complimentary fabric is gorgeous i love this <gasps> i know why this is tamlin's favorite box because it's just her to a t really oh <gasps> look at that I think there's a meter here as well. It feels like a meter. That is beautiful. And I think this is viscose as well. Let me get the booklet so I'm not telling you cake pies. It's actually nice to get a viscose as the um secondary fabric, actually. Let me just double check. Yeah, a meter of viscose. So it's a whole meter as well. And it's gorgeous. Oh, that is absolutely stunning. That would make a beautiful camisole. And now I know why Tamlin's done all about camisoles in her. Um, one of her articles in the booklet so that is absolutely stunning I love it also look amazing as some big sleeves if you maybe made like a plain top and then with massive sleeves or it would also be really good for the high cuff sweater where it's woven fabric even if you just used the front of it um, and on the back you use the plain viscose that would look absolutely gorgeous so a great way to use up some of these complementary fabrics as well and then this is the colour of my Gutterman thread. Blue. Blue, you might say. It's really funny, actually, because I don't wear a lot of blue, but it's the most... I'm looking up there because my threads are up there. It's the colour that I've got the most threads of. So it must be something to do with a dark base, maybe, that I've got all those colours. And then the fabric. It's two and a half metres of viscose again. And it is absolutely... I would have bought this ten times over. Let me get it out for you. it's absolutely beautiful i love tie-dye and obviously tammy loves tie-dye and that's why she said it's her favorite box ever but look at the colors in this now if michelle from sewing bunny gets this box i hope she gets this blue one because she loves blue and orange together and i think she'd be really excited about that look it's really quite a big scale print can you see let me hold that up again there look so these big massive swirls Oh, I'm in love with it. So it's got like a dark navy kind of background, but then with different colour blues. I wouldn't say they're really vibrant blues. They're more like deep blues, aren't they? Warm ones. And then this vibrant orange that looks like fire almost. And then you've got kind of your lighter peachy colours going through here. And then every now and again, can you see there's like purple in it? It's absolutely beautiful gorgeous i think there's a couple of colorways of this so i'm really looking forward to seeing what else there is as well i love it so much tammy messaged me earlier and said i hope i haven't built it up too much and now you're not going to like it you don't have to worry about that tammy if you're watching this because it's absolutely blooming gorgeous i'm so happy with this box it's incredible right so anyway shall we have a little recap refreshers bar thank you very much a little beautiful cross stitch by Stitch Finity, which is amazing. These gorgeous buttons, love those. The complimentary fabric. If you don't want to sign up for a box after this, I don't know what you've, what we've got to do to persuade you. <laughs> is stunning. Look at the pinks in that. And then we've got the Gutterman thread. Don't forget the little magazine with all the goodies in it as well. And then also this amazing two and a half metres of viscose. Oh, I just don't know what to make with it. But I just, I just want to make a saltwater slip. I'm not even going to apologise for that comment. <laughs> I know that's what I say with every viscose fabric, but it would look amazing. But I'm also thinking 
like really cute shorts and like a little shirt over the top. It's like a little cord. There's so many possibilities with this. My head is literally going to burst. I need to have a really good think about it. But I think for the summer this year, that's going to look incredible. I do, I do think a little camisole and maybe some shorts would just look stunning. And don't forget as well, in the front, there is always a little Stash Hub um, QR code as well, if you are a member of Stash Hub. So I store all of my fabrics on the Stash Hub app, which I find incredibly useful. I don't think I could be without it now. And the good thing about it is when you have a new fabric like this, you can literally just scan the QR card and it uploads it all for you. You don't have to do a thing. It's called this one's a QR code, but they also do a magic input as well, which is just amazing. So don't forget that if you've got Stash Hub, just make sure you scan your QR code to get it all uploaded. So that is a right bumper of a box this month, isn't it? I must admit that is one of my favourites. I have to admit it's just it's fabulous, darling. Don't forget as well, if you do want to treat yourself to one, I will um, put the link in the description box below. You can go through my link and it'll get you 10% off your first box if you use the code RUAN10. I'm pointing a lot. I'm sorry. I know that really offends people. Um, yeah, if you want to use my code, use the code RUAN10 at checkout and it'll get you 10% off your first box. And I do get a little fee for that as well. So what do we think? Give me ideas. Shoot some ideas at me, guys, as to what I should make with this. A lot of people each month talk about maybe making a skirt and I'm not a skirt person but I'm wondering whether I need to explore it because I said at my beginning of my sewing journey that I wasn't a dresses person and now that's what I wear all the time. She says wearing a shirt but you know it's a casual day at work today. So this isn't me made by the way, it's just a ready to wear shirt that I've got. I mean you can't miss me, do you know what I mean? When I was picking my kids up in the playground they couldn't miss me. So what do you think? Love this box. Let me know. Do you love it? Do you want it? Have you got FOMO? I would have FOMO if I was um, watching any of these blocks and had this fabric in it. Can't wait to see what the other colour is. And then I'm going to have a really good look through the magazine as to what each of the lovely ladies has done. In fact, it looks like Gemma must have had the fabric maybe from the luxury box, which looks beautiful. She's made that cord set, which is pretty amazing to do that out of the amount of fabric as well. That is gorgeous. Shall I show you a little sneaky peek? <gasps> oh my goodness, Esther's made something out of that. I just want to copy that exact same thing. How good does she look in those colours? What has she made? A new look 6217. I think I might have that pattern. How beautiful does that look though? I don't know if I'd be able to get it out of a meet with my hips though. <laughs> Who knows? And then let's just have a quick check of the other. Oh, Haley's done one this year. Oh, and she's made a skirt. She is that the maid skirt? Let's have a look. Yeah, the true bias maid skirt. Oh, it looks amazing. Oh yeah, they've done a really good job this month, haven't they? That is gorgeous. Oh, choices, choices. Anyway, I've driven on enough. I'm sorry, I know I've been back and forth, but that's just how it goes when you open a box live, isn't it? I hope you're all well. I hope you've had lots of time to sew and I'll see you again soon in my next video. Take care.